challenge. You know, we, we, we know we put in the work. Give us a certain amount of time. You, you know, he said, put us a month, and we can be ready for anybody. Um, especially now, man, you need those hard lessons that I that I took along the way of, of, my, of my career to understand how to, how to live in that ring, man. It's, it's it's hard, man. You got a lot of critics out there, a lot of people talking talking noise, man, but they don't know what it is to be in there with a dangerous fighter or, or getting punched. You know what I mean? It's, it's hard, and it's and it's a, it's hard lessons that you have to learn, but they're necessary lessons. And I've taken I've taken enough lessons now to to be prepared for this moment. Gerald, you're one of the most athletic heavyweights in the world. Probably, arguably of all time. How do you feel that your athleticism is going to cause, you know, a major matchup problem with Wilder? Because yeah. he's used to fighting a lot of stick figures, non-mobile people, and you're completely opposite of that. Yeah, man. The, the great part about us, man, we, we, learned, we learned from the ground up. I had to to be <laughs> successful and to be in this position right now. I had to learn how to be defensive, man. So a lot of time early in my career, people would say, well, how come he's not doing this? How come he's not doing that? You know, they see me as I'm, I'm a big, strong guy. Why is he not pressing this guy? Why is he not putting the heat on this guy? Because I'm learning. You right. know what I'm saying? I, I had to learn that. If I didn't learn those lessons, man, I'd get my butt knocked out. We wouldn't be in this position. We wouldn't be having this conversation in this media day or nothing. You know what I'm right. saying? So I'm glad that we took our time and did it on our time and in the way that we wanted to and learned and, and took the proper procedure, you know what I mean, to, to be here. So I'm grateful for my team, man, for everybody being patient, you know, even myself, I get frustrated at times, I want to fight more, you know, or whatever, but, you know, the time in between, after, after, you know, I had a couple of tough fights, I was like, okay, I'm not going to be in a rush anymore, I'm going to take this time to learn, and I'm going to and I'm I'm get better, you know right. what I'm saying, so when I get back in the ring, uh, it'll show. Sure. Man, I, I've been thinking about that, man. Do I go back home to the Bay Area? Do I, go, do I do it down here in L.A.? Do I do it in Mexico? Uh, where, where, where should I do it at, man? It's, it's, that's, a, that's a tough question. But All three. Yeah, man, definitely. I, I know you guys can get sandwiches three different times. Hey. I'm there. I, I got uh, to spread the love, man, all over. So my question to you is, when you bring the title back home, are, is your first title of the fence going to be at Galen? Hey, man, I want to fill up the, the L.A. Coliseum, man. Okay. I want to fill up the L.A. Coliseum, man, 100,000 people in there, man, and, and, and put on the show. That's right. You know, for the world to see, man. I, I look forward to that. Ali lit the, lit the, uh, lit the, lit the torch there, man. It, it's, it's, it's an amazing place, man. A lot of history is there. I want right. to say, I always say I want to. Take back my belt, man, and leave it alongside, you know, all those great Heisman Trophy winners there at USC, man. That'll be, I believe, my legacy there. And, and uh, man, I feel I get chills thinking about that, you know what I'm saying? So I got a lot, I got a lot of, man, I got so much to fight for. You know, I got so much to push me and drive me, man. I, like, all I got to do is think about those moments, man, and those things, man. It'll give me the, all the, all the. Anything I need to just keep pushing forward. Gerald, how's your experience playing high level football? Man, Coach Carroll is, is, is a guy that's all about competition. You know, that's all I learned at USC, man. You've got the best athletes all across the country, you know, competing against each other for position, you know what I mean? And they're all making each other better and sharpening each other up, you know what I mean? That's cool. That's a cool part about Dominic Brazil, you know what I mean? You, you get to work with all these guys. I work with Malik Scott. And, Avery Gibson and Johnny Rice, anybody across the board, I can work with middleweights. Anybody that's gonna help me tighten up my game, man. We all we got a bunch of good guys here at this gym. We got the Lopez brothers. We got Sergey. We got Buddy McGirt. We got a lot of we got a lot of experience here, and uh, it's just great to learn from, man. I, I take it all in. I watch. I watch. I try to learn every time somebody's in the ring. I'm trying to pick up something to add to my game. So Coach Carroll would just say. Go knock his ass out. Stop your football background in college. You're sticking with the Rams, or you're going to wait for the Chargers to come through? A 49er fan, bro. That's right. Gerald, how much is boxing mental to you compared to physical? It's all mental, man. I've had physical my whole life. And boxing is the toughest sport, man. If you don't understand the mental aspect of boxing, you're not gonna make it far at all, man. It's it's the that's what people think. Oh, go go run ten miles. Go do this. Go do that. No, it ain't about that. You you got the sloppiest guy that can do twelve rounds because his mental game is, is strong. And then you got then you got the guy that looks like in the dance man, and he just can't do it. Why? Because his mental game is weak. You know what I mean? A lot of guys that uh, we say that a lot of guys that that got the, the one punch knockout power, they're weak mentally. Uh, we don't got that with Deontay Water, man. He's a tough dude, man. He got he, he brings it all the way, man. And he, he's a, he's a real competitor. You know what I'm saying? When, when he's when he's when he's down tough, he's gonna fight back, man. But I look forward to that too, cause I like to compete too, man. I like to scrap too. But now I got all the proper tools that I need to get in there and mix it up with him. Before, you know, I might have been a toss up, but now I'm, I'm gonna come in there clean, man, and I'm I'm gonna show you, man. I'm gonna shock the world. What do you make of the way uh, Charles Martin has? has 
from along after the last of Joshua. Yeah. If you're aware, of what, what did you make of this? Somewhat of a mental collapse. It seems. I don't, I don't want to say. I don't, it is. I don't know, man. I don't know what. I don't know what's going on, man. Uh, he, he's a. Uh, you know, he showed me nothing but love, you know what I'm saying? And, and I came up with him too, man. So much love and respect to him. Um, as long as he's happy, man, and he's living his life the way he wants to, that's all that matters to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know I don't know all the details of it, anything. And I don't want to judge, put any judgment from the outside looking in without having a real conversation with him. I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on, so. Any thoughts on the uh, Klitschko versus AJ fight? And if victorious, do you want the winner of that fight? Of course, man. I look, that's, that's, what, that's what I want to do. I want to fight the best. You know, I want to fight the best. I look forward. I, I, I called it. I said I want to win the title from Deontay Wilder, and I want to go over there and fight and face Anthony Joshua. You know, I, I watch these guys. Of course, man, the, the heavyweight division is popping right now. We got all these, all these big fights going on, and, and I want to compete against the best. You know what I mean? So... I look forward to that. I've been comparing that fight to uh, the Atlanta Falcons and, 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 and uh, <laughs> the Patriots. Yeah, the Patriots, man. So who's who? Uh, the, uh, uh, Anthony Joshua is the Atlanta Falcons, man. He's young, strong, fast. He, he might get the early knockout, man. But you gotta be careful if you let uh, Tushko in the game too long, man. You might pull the Tom Brady and come back and upset you at the end. And what makes you so much better than Deontay Wilder? I'm not. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not saying. I'm. I'm not. Look. I'm, I'm not worried about Deontay Wilder. I'm worried about me, man. As long as my game is tight, you guys. You guys are gonna see. You know. As long as I, I, I'm the best me that I could be that night, that, then I'm gonna be victorious. I'm not worried about what Deontay Wilder has. I'm not worried about his power. I'm not worried about his length, his height, none of that. You know. what I'm saying his his 37 wins, his 36 knockouts. I'm not worried about none of that. I, I'm gonna take care of my business. I know what my job is and what my goal is. And that's it. And I got I got to put my head down and get to work. You know, so, and at the end of the night, man, that, that's all I can do. With that being said, Deontay is kind of a showboat in the in the ring. Yeah. And I think that's because of people that he's fought. Well, if he showboats with me, I'm gonna have him in his mouth. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna stop real quick. Yeah. You know, he's gonna he's gonna take me serious real fast. It's not gonna take long to say, all right, just do this for real. Right. You know what I mean? Because I am real and I'm coming. Any more questions? Okay. Um, Gallo Negro. And um, talk, you want to do one and then talk to Greg and then you can do it. Okay. Whatever you guys 